Hello everybody, today we are going to continue with the topic of face peelings. In my previous video, I told you what are the different types of face peelings that you can do at cosmetologist and what are their effects. Today, I want to share with you a recipe of a face peeling that you can do at home. It's a peeling with acetyl salicylic acid. Acetyl salicylic acid, also known as aspirin, is a common substance that is widely being known for its antibacterial properties. If you are doing a peeling with aspirin, we are talking about a surface peeling, which, when combined with different substances, can solve a lot of skin problems. It brightens up your skin and lightens the dark spots, peels and smoothens your skin, removes blackheads, helps reducing inflammation, Acetyl salicylic acid works for every type of skin, but only when combined with different ingredients. The base of this peeling is always aspirin, and then you should add lemon or clay for oily skin, tea tree oil if you have inflammation on your skin. If your skin is dry, you can add any other face oil that fits you. I've already made a video about face oils on my channel, and the link you can find below in the description. If you have a dry skin, it's better to apply a hydrating face mask for 5 to 10 minutes before the peeling. After that, wash off the mask and apply the peeling for 5 minutes. If you have oily skin, you can apply this peeling directly on your dry, cleansed skin and leave it on for 5 to 10 minutes. Nevertheless, it's so helpful for your skin, there are also side effects you should know about. First of all, it's the allergic reaction for the substance. So I would recommend doing a patch test before doing the peeling on your face. Other contradictions are pregnancy or breastfeeding, if you have vitiligo, papillomas or melanomas, herpes, cuprosis, a severe form of acne, and open wounds. Before applying your face peeling, you should cleanse your skin from any leftover makeup. Apply hydrating face cream around your lips and eyes. I am going to do a face peeling for normal type of the skin, with some lemon and a couple of drops of face oil. For this peeling, you should take 5 pills of salicyl acetylic acid and grind them into powder. After that, add a little bit of water. half a teaspoon of lemon juice and 5 to 6 drops of your favorite face oil. I chose oily vitamins A and E, 3 drops each. You should get a consistency that is easy to apply, something similar to heavy cream. First, applying face peeling to the places where your skin is less sensitive. On your forehead, your lower jaw, your nose, and only after that to the middle part of your face.
and leave it on for five minutes. Can you do the clock on the video so it goes like tick tack tick tack tick tack to the seconds? Two minutes later. And after this peeling, I would make a sour cream mask. And again, all of your DIY stuff. But I like it. Well, you're gonna come home and do it there. Yeah, obviously, I didn't buy it now. Three more minutes passed. And what should people do while waiting for the peeling to work? Just be on the phone like you do? Well, yeah. After you've waited for peeling to work, we should neutralize the acid. For that, you're going to need a sodium solution. One tablespoon of baking soda dissolved in one glass of water. And remove the peeling with a cotton pad dipped into the solution. After that, wash your face with slightly warm water and apply your favorite hydrating cream. If you don't have any contradictions to it, you can do this peeling once a week as a course five to six times, preferably in autumn or winter in the evening, so that your skin could recover overnight and there was no redness in the morning. If you have oily skin, you can also add honey. It's going to work as a scrub and it also has antibacterial properties. But it doesn't work for people with sensitive skin or those of you who have allergy to honey. If you found this video useful, subscribe to our channel, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Click the bell to be the first one to see our new video next week.